Hey everyone and welcome to our warehouse management video training session number seven resolve WMS picking 101. Now during our previous sessions we have gone through things such as configurations settings and preferences as well as some high level overviews of our WMS processes. This video will mark the beginning of a more detailed training approach in which our sessions will dive deeper into specific functionality to help you better understand how each process works. As the title Picking 101 seems to describe, this will be our basic beginner's picking session. So we're gonna go over the flow of how to pick a sales order and then how to pack it. So the first thing we have to start with is our SAP Pick Pack Production Manager to create pick lists. And then those pick lists are the documents that you will pick in our WMS Resolve so to start, I'm just going to put in my delivery due date of today. I've got all my warehouses chosen. Obviously you can do whatever filters you want. This is a standard SAP screen. And it's gonna pull up my list of documents here. So I'm just gonna select all my rows and I'm gonna hit release. Now, some of these items are batch and serialized items. And SAP handles each batch and serialized item slightly differently within the SAP item master data for batch and for serial items. And it's this issue primarily by, you have the option to do by serial and batch or by bin location. When your item is set to release by serial batch, SAP is going to make you choose the batch and serial number when you create your pick list. For some customers, this is helpful. They wanna be able to determine these are the batches of the serials I want my pickers to go get. Other customers, they really wanna let the picker choose whatever batch or serial number they want. So if that's the case, you would use the issue by bin option. And I'm gonna have both types of items here in my pick list. So you can see this one says issue by batch. That's what I named it so I can show you guys. So I'm gonna select my batch manually. Date and okay. And now I'm gonna get my serialized item that is issue by serial. And I'll just have to select two serial numbers. And you can see my other two batch item here is batch issues by bin. And my other serialized item is issued by bin. So you'll see I can release this pick list now. It's not gonna ask me for the batch or serial for those two items. I'm gonna be able to select those when I'm picking. So that's the difference between issue by batch serial and issue by bin. So depending on what your warehouse wants to do, you're going to have to set those SAP item masters the correct way. So I'm gonna click release pick list, get to my pick list generation wizard. Again, this is standard SAP. I'm just gonna go through. I don't need any special rules. I'm only doing one document, so I don't need to split anything. And I'm gonna click next. You can see that it creates my pick list 3059 when I click generate. Now that my pick list is created, I will come into my Resolve mobile application. I will click on the picking menu and I will go to sales order pick list screen. Here I will be able to enter in my pick list number if I know it, or I can scan it if I printed out a pick list with a barcode on it. Otherwise I can come into my pick list lookup and here you can see at the top 3059, the due date. Here's my sales order number so I know this is the correct one. I'm going to select it and now it's going to bring in all the items from my pick list. Since this is our picking 101 session, I'm just gonna go through the basics of how to pick this sales order pick list. So let's just begin the normal picking process. Here you can see I have to select my bin or an end my item. I can also just select the item from the grid manually. It, I can just touch the line and it will select it. I can also scan in using a barcode scanner. So we're gonna go through all different ways of, of picking each item. So for the first thing, let's start off by saying, okay, I'm gonna pick this item here serialized. I have to first select the bin. I can type it in or I can come to my lookup here and I can start searching for it, system bin location. And then I could type in my item and hit enter. And now it brings me to the sales order pick list entry screen where I would confirm my quantity. I would hit add. And since this is a serialized item, it's gonna take me to the serial entry out screen where I now have to select the two serial numbers I'm going to be issuing out during this pick list. Again, for this specific example, we're just gonna use the lookups to do it. You can see these are the two items that we had released during the pick list releasing process. So I need to select those because that's how the item was set up to release by serial, not release by bin. So that again makes means SAP is gonna make me choose the serialized numbers before I actually make my pick list. So that's why it already knew the two I needed to pick. So now that we have this item picked, I can check this hide finished box and that will hide that item. So now I only have these four left to pick. So what, that's what hide finish does. It hides which ones you picked. It makes it a little bit cleaner. It makes the screen only show the items that you have left to pick. So that's why we'll uh, in, uh, enable that option. Now for our next item, I'm just going to click 
the grid. So for instance here, I will click on this row here, or obviously on a touch screen, I would just touch it. And that does the same thing. It brings me to the next screen, the pick list entry screen, where I'll confirm my quantity and click add. And then again, we've got our serial lookup. Now this one's going to have a whole bunch of serial numbers because this was my release issue by bin serial item. So I didn't have to tell the pick list which serials to pick. I already have the option here when I'm picking it to choose whichever serial numbers I want that are available. So I'm just going to choose this one. All right, so now that item been serialized is now picked. For the next example, I'm going to use my barcode scanner this time. So for the PS001 item, as you can see there, the first line, it says it's to O2C2. So I'm going to scan that on my barcode here. You can see it fills it in. Now I'm going to scan my item barcode for PS001. Here I have a sheet in front of me. Obviously, you guys can't see that. And that now takes me to the, again, the sales order pick list entry screen where I can just confirm my quantity. Let's just say we're only going to pick three for now. So now you can see that first row again here shows C2 bin, my item. I ordered six, I picked three, and I picked them from bin 02C2. Uh, if I wanted to pick the rest of them, again, I can scan the bin and item or select the row. If I wanted to choose a different bin to select these three from, I can. We have different settings in WMS configuration, as we've seen in previous sessions. That would allow me to put a password on this to override the bin. So if you don't want your pickers overriding the bin, you could make it prompt for a password. And now you can see the item disappears because I fully picked it. Like, so if I uncheck, you'll see it is here. But since it was ordered six and picked six, it's now gone when I hide finish. For our last two items here, I've got my other batch item. Again, I'll use my barcode scanner since I can. Scan my bin, scan my item, and then I'll confirm the quantity. And now in here, I actually will now scan my batch. And again, just confirm how many of that batch I want. Now I'm back out here to the main screen. And for the last one, again, I'll just select it from the grid. Again, confirm my quantity. And this is the batch out screen where I would select my batch. Again, this was the batch by bin item. So now I have a full list of all the different batches that I want to choose from. And now I've got nothing left on my screen because I've hidden everything that's finished. When I'm all done, I would just hit finish. It asks me, do I want to finish this document? So I'll click OK. And now the post of all records was successful. If we hop back into SAP really quick and we come to the picked tab, you will see that now my pick list is picked. If I open the pick list, I've got all my items, everything's been picked, I slide over, you'll see all the picked quantities and the bins they were picked from. And now that the pick list is updated, you have the options within our WMS configuration settings to either have the pick list just stay open and you can create the delivery manually, or you can have Resolve WMS create the delivery for you. So that's you know usually a lot of customers choose that option. It just makes it simpler. You can even have it automatically create the invoice as well. So those are options uh, in Resolve WMS configurations. You can find that in the SAP warehouse setup screen, which we've gone over in in previous sessions. However, if you have our Resolve Freight Management module, we have a Freight Management mobile option, which allows you to pack the pick list directly on your mobile device. So to do that, we're going to jump back into the mobile. We come over here out of the pick list screen and into our packing screen. And we can now pull up the pick list by pick list number or by sales order number. Or if we had started a packing slip, we could pull it up with the packing slip number as well and, and continue. In this instance here again, I'll come to the lookup and I will choose my sorted descending so I can see the most recent one here, my pick list right here, 3059. And that's going to pull up and show me right on the front screen here all the items that I picked on that pick list. And now if I'm ready to pack, I click on the pack button and it will bring me to my packaging screen. You can see here on the left, We've got package one by default. If this is going to be a multi-package shipment, and I know that ahead of time, I can add additional packages right now. If I'm not going to know until I actually start packing to say, hey, I, I might need another box, you can obviously click add as you are packing to add new packages. We've got the option here as well to delete packages and print a packing slip. So right now you can see we're on package two. I'm going to click back on package one and we're on the details button here where I can choose my package type. The net weight is the amount of total weight from all the items within my package. Nothing there yet, so it's not going to show anything. Tear weight is the weight from the box in the SAP package settings. So if I change this from box to case, there's no tear weight on a case. 
so it didn't have that option there to show it. Scale weight is what you're actually going to weigh the package and, and enter in the scale weight there. And then these are the dimensions of the package. Obviously, this, again, comes default from the case, but you could change the dimensions if you needed to if you were going to use your own package type or anything like that. So these are just all the details of the package. They can be changed. Sometimes, depending on how much you set up, you may not, not need to change anything. You would just choose your package type, and all the defaults would be correct, and you would just start packing your items. To do that, you come over here to the Scan tab, and now this is where I'm going to start selecting or scanning or choosing my items from my pick list that are going into package one. You can see I have an option here to say pack all. If for whatever reason I just want to put everything that I have in package one, I could do that. This is also helpful if I've packed some things in package one and then I go to package two and I want the rest of it just to go into package two, I can use that option as well just on package two and it'll just pack what's remaining. Up here at the top real quick though I can show you we've got this packed, unpacked, and label print button. This will print default package label. We have that setup option in configuration. And then the unpacked and packed tabs show you what items have been packed currently and what has been not packed. When I click on unpacked, it shows me all my items because I haven't packed anything yet. I'll click on packed in a moment once we start packing some stuff so you can see what that the difference is between those two though. Because if I click it, it's basically showed me nothing's packed. So all right, so again, just like when we're picking, we have the same options. I can type in an item number or I can scan the barcode or I can use this lookup to see all the items that were on my pick list. So for instance, instance I'll just select this item I'm gonna do my quantity and then it's gonna show me the cereals and batches that I picked and I'll add it to my package and then I just continue doing the same thing this time I'll scan an item I'll enter my quantity let's say we're gonna put two of that in here add it to my package and then we'll do another one I'll scan one quantity and then I'll scan my batch and it adds it to the package all right so if I do now come to packed you'll see I've got all these items are now in package one and if I go to unpacked, you can see the items that I packed are, are missing and this only shows four because there's only four left to pack. I put two in package one. So now if I come to package two, I can continue packing. Let's scan that PS001 item again. We'll do two. I'm going to do my batch item again. We'll pack the other one of that. And actually that's all I'm going to be able to put in this package because it's, let's say, type box. So it's going to be smaller and then we'll add package number three. And for that, I'm just going to use pack all and it'll pack what's remaining for me into this. So two left of that water item and then my two serialized items are in here. So now if I go to unpacked, no records are found because everything's packed. And if I come to packed, you'll see these are what's in package one, package two, package three. So that gives me all that information. Now, whatever changes I need to make to the other packages, like I said, we've got the details options. If I want to change the package types, if I want to change the dimensions, I can do that. But for the most part, if you were using our freight management product with this here to ship out, you're going to want to enter in the scale weight here. So if I say this is 20 pounds and this one is 15 and this one is 12. If I'm all done with all that now, I would back to the main screen and I would hit save and that saves my packing slip data. And just really quick, if I hop back in to the pick tab of the pick pack production manager, you can see I've got a packing slip column from the packing slip we just packed. And if I click on it and open it, you will see that I've got all the information from what we just packed. I've got my pack of three packages. If I click on each one, I'll see the contents of them. And then you would just take our freight management process, whether you're going to ship it through a carrier or LTL, or if you're going to do it through your own truck fleet, and you would just then create the delivery. That's a completely different module and some session that we will eventually have. But I just wanted to show you that the packing on the mobile now translates to the packing inside of our Resolve Packing Slip screen. So that wraps up our basics for WMS Picking 101. Again, there are some additional functions and additional screens that are more advanced that we'll touch on in our, our Picking 102 video. But for now, we just wanted to go through the basics, start to finish, creating a pick list, picking that pick list, and then packing the pick list all on Resolve Mobile. We'll see you again for our next session. Talk to you guys later.